What is up guys, welcome back to the channel guys We in New Zealand, I don't think I ever touched on New Zealand At least not too much, if I do get a New Zealand video It's probably one or two, but I do know I don't know much about it, I honestly Before I start learning about Australia I thought New Zealand, I thought it was in Australia I ain't gonna lie to you, I, you know, I'm being honest out here I thought it was in Australia Then you know, I started looking at the maps Started learning the maps and all that stuff And I seen it's in its own country, you know, it's its own little space over there. So, but we're going to check this out, see what it's about. 15 reasons why New Zealand is the best country in the world. Uh, I am no stranger to New Zealand, but I do know it, it ranks in the top of some good categories, you know, just for people in general. So that's a good thing. That's always a good thing to hear and know that it's one of the safest, one of the, you know, one of the best places to live type countries. So... Let's see the 15 reasons why though. I personally don't think I've ever heard a bad word spoken about New Zealand. Sometimes regarded as being one of the most beautiful countries in the world, this isolated nation is a very desirable place to visit, live and nice retire. Right there. I was lucky enough to travel there in 2020, but then something called COVID-19 decided to pop up and ruin all of my oh, plans. So in this video, we've got 15 I got this in New Zealand. Reasons why we think New Zealand is the best country in the world. Because my name is Sam and you're watching the Geography Bible. Geography All right, Bible. so let's kick off this video with number 15. It's natural beauty. New Zealand mm. is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful, Very. picturesque countries in the world. From Mount Cook to Milford Sound to Hobbiton, New Zealand is a very mountainous, rugged country. So it offers some of the most stunning, picturesque views. That was like wallpaper type. With it being a relatively narrow Same island, you are also never too far away from the ocean. Number 14. It's climate. New Zealand has a largely temperate climate. Mm. While the far north has subtropical weather during summer, inland alpine areas Look at the those rocks. I ain't never seen rocks like that. minus 10 degrees Celsius in winter. Most of the country lies close to the coast, mm. which means mild temperatures, moderate rainfall, and abundant sunshine. Pretty much the That's perfect nice. climate. Not too hot, but not too cold. Apart from Probably earthquakes like of... and the odd cyclone, New Zealand does not experience much life threat Threatening extreme weather. Okay, Number earthquakes 13, it might not be too low bad. population and density. At just 5.1 million, New Zealand is That's a, a very good amount small of country. What's more, around That's how much like Finland's, the Denmark's, the Swedes, that's how much they got. I didn't think New Zealand was that big. Around a third of New Zealand lives in its biggest city. Auckland. To Auckland. put this in perspective, there are about 75 cities Auckland. in the world that are more populated than the entirety of New Zealand. New Zealand has a population mm. density of around 18 people per kilometer squared, making it one of the least Dang. densely populated countries in Too the world. Right. This low population and density means wow. less congestion, less sidewalk. traffic, and a general chilled vibe. Which of course isn't everyone's cup of tea, as some people do prefer the hustle and bustle <laughs> of big cities. True, Number twelve, true. it's history. I ain't gonna lie, me personally, I, I mean, I stay in a small town. It's, it's a good. I mean, compared to the cities surrounding us, we, it's, it's a good size, but it's not like our major cities that we have here in Texas, like Dallas, Houston, San Antonio, Austin. But I like, I like the countryside. A little bit more, but like I said, sometimes the natural disasters you got to be careful, you know, because that open space, open land, you know, we had a tornado, you know, hit close by just a couple of a month ago. So, so that's the only thing. That's the only thing. Even though New Zealand History, is culture. a relatively new country that's... in terms of the year that it was discovered, okay, I it see is packed Dutch. full of history. New Zealanders take huge pride in their culture, and the Maori people, along with their traditions, are well respected. Maori were the first to arrive in New okay. Zealand, journeying in canoes from Hawaii about 1,000 years ago. A Dutchman, Abel Tasman, was the first European to sight the country, but it was the British who made mm. New Zealand part of their empire. You'll find amazing Maori historic oh, cool. sites across New Zealand, as well as beautiful colonial era buildings dotted throughout the country. Number 11, Hobbiton and Lord of the Rings. Regardless if you are a Lord of the Rings fan I don't know what Hobbit not, time is. The Hobbit set and the surrounding rolling hills are absolutely stunning. It was one of my childhood oh, dreams snap. to visit Hobbiton. And finally in 2020, I got to visit. Ain't that where they got the movie The Hobbit from too? 
But now the Lord of the Rings is a classic. I used to have uh, the, the movies used to be. I feel like the Lord of the Rings. You can almost put that, you know, in competition with Harry Potter. That's how many movies there were. That's how many. I don't know too much about no Lord of the Rings books, but I know I seen it every chance I got on TV. Lord of the Rings was on there. We had the games and everything. I didn't know it was in New Zealand though. That's. I love Dreams Lord of the Rings. Visit That's Hobbit a classic. Town. And finally, in 2020, right I there. got to I visit. Know. And I wasn't disappointed. It was the most beautiful Dang. day. Not a cloud in the sky and 20 degrees yeah, Celsius Winnie the Pooh weather. House. The movie set is New Zealand's third largest tourist attraction, attracting approximately 17% of international visitors and estimated to bring in around $78 million to the area annually. Let's Take this with can... a pinch of salt, but I was told during my tour that the director Dang. of Lord of the Rings, Peter Jackson, receives 50% of all of the revenue, meaning he earns a cool $39 million or so every year. At least he opened it up to the public. That's cool. That's very... Man, that must be nice. Worth a bit. I mean, Lord of the Rings is... It was major angle, but this is something I need a visit. I gotta come to New Zealand for that. Hobbiton movie set tours. I wonder how much that costs. They bringing in some dough. Area annually. Dang, Take this with a that pinch is of cool. Salt, but I was told during my Not tour, too many people let you in on the of the Rings. Stuff. Peter Jackson receives fifty percent of all of the revenue, Dang. meaning he earns a cool thirty-nine million dollars or so every Pete, year. Pete, let me buy a Number dollar, 10, Peter. It's isolation. New Zealand's isolation from the west of the world does have economic drawbacks. For example, uh -oh. when I was there, I noticed the price of some groceries is astronomical compared to what it is in the UK oh. and Europe. Quite simply, if New Zealand does not grow they its certain US produce, prices. it may have to import it from a place that is tens of thousands of kilometers away. Oh. Its isolation, however, does work in its favor politically. Apart from Australia, who is like it. But it doesn't, I mean, New Zealand, I mean, I'm sure it works. There's good wages there, you know. So uh, even if it's a little bit more expensive than the UK, I'm pretty sure they get paid good money there, if I'm not mistaken. Older, what I heard brother, New in Zealand one of the Australian really videos. Any neighbors. And any neighbors it does have, like Fiji, are not world oh, superpowers. Wow, Compare this to the likes of India, who have the nuclear superpowers of Russia, China, and Pakistan on their doorstep. Mm. Number nine, it's beaches. When you think of New Zealand, you usually think of huge, picturesque mountain ranges and rolling green hills. Not at all. But <laughs> what most people don't realize That's is that New Zealand right has it. some of the world's most pristine and beautiful beaches. I've seen Ryan Shirley New at Zealand is beach. actually home to 90 Mile Beach. However, the name is actually completely wrong. It's actually only 55 miles. Oh. Still, an incredible distance. With New Zealand being closer such to 90 a small than zero. country population-wise, you'll often find completely deserted beaches wow. that you can have all to yourself. Number eight, most livable cities. In 2021, two of the top ten See, most think, livable cities. I think this was one that I seen in one of the other videos that I check out because I, I like I like checking out videos where you know they're livable cities, livable countries, and stuff like that for. You know, or safest places to live type. Those are good videos uh, simply because it really lets you know and show you that especially compared to America, you know, we, I don't know. I feel like growing up, they always just had this picture of, you know, anything outside of the U.S., third world, and it's dangerous. You know, I saw watching these videos and they're like, these are the safe, like I didn't even know they had categories for it. These are the safest places in the world type of thing. So, like I said, I've had seen I've seen New Zealand. This doesn't surprise me right here because I have seen this this list, the best country list, and all, and they were in the top ten, if not top five. So this is pretty cool. Australia, oh, they got some there's some places I checked out before from Australia. I love Australia, man. I'm definitely going to visit. But Japan, that's surprising. Switzerland, I knew didn't know Japan. That's surprising right there. Probably not so surprising, but I'm just, you know, I know Switzerland, Australia, New Zealand, they for sure. I don't remember seeing Japan, so that's good, Earth, Japan. That's we're good. in New Zealand. 
Wellington, which came in fourth place, and Auckland, which ranked as the most livable city on earth. To be a country Damn, of nice. this size and feature two of your cities in the top 10 is an almighty achievement. Very. Being a livable city pretty much means that it is a nice place to live. Low crime, clean environment, and job opportunities are usually the main factors to contribute to a livable Gotta city. Have an it must be noted, however, that when the 2021 rankings were released, New Zealand at the time was one of the only countries to pretty much stomp out COVID-19, oh, wow. meaning its citizens lived a mostly lockdown free life. Now, of course, since then, things wow. have changed. Number seven, low corruption. New Zealand is one of the least corrupt nations on earth. In fact, it usually battles Denmark and other Nordic countries for the top rankings in the world. In 2021, New Zealand ranked as the equal least corrupt country in well, the world, that's alongside major. Finland and Denmark. As mentioned earlier, New Zealand doesn't really have any enemies, and because it isn't a nuclear power, has a relatively small economy and population, it rarely finds wow. itself getting involved with foreign affairs. I don't blame him, I don't blame him. A relatively small country that offers everything. Although New Zealand is rather oh, I did remote before. and small, it offers a wide variety of activities that its residents and tourists love. From gorgeous beaches and surfing, to skiing, whale watching, mountain climbing and wine tasting. As you mentioned earlier, this country offers a range of different climates and landscapes. So you don't actually ever have to leave the country, as most things mm. are already on your doorstep. Number five, that's nice, that's nice. Queenstown. Often Queenstown, described as the adventure it. capital of the world, not only does it offer activities for thrill seekers such as skiing, bungee jumping and skydiving, Ooh, it jumping. is also one of the coolest and most beautiful looking cities in the world. Queenstown sits that's on the beautiful. shore of Lake I'm, gonna... I'm gonna have to screenshot it. I'm gonna have to see, what's 7 Eleven? I'm gonna have to screenshot that. I like that. That's a screensaver right there. I'm gonna have to put that world. on my screensaver. Queenstown sits on the shore of Lake Wakatipu, among Wakatipu. dramatic alpine ranges. A popular holiday and backpacking spot for any time of the year. Queenstown is renowned for its four distinctive seasons. Winter brings crisp blue sky days with snow perfect for skiing. Spring retains the snow but blooms into longer, warmer days. Summer mm. offers sunshine and long twilights, and autumn a burst of brilliant red, orange nice. and gold. Number four, its social purpose. New Zealand ranks third in the world when it comes to That's social nice. purpose. Now, what exactly oh my God, is Canada, the GDP is Well, that. it's the country's attitude and actions towards a variety of social attributes. Let's see, you know I don't mind reading. It cares about animal rights. Dang, I mean, that's a good thing, but shoot, I, you would think human rights would be before animals, but you know, uh, yeah, I guess that's just how life works. Cares about the environment. Well, that's good, you know. I mean, personally, I always think human rights should be like, should be everyone's number one list because it's like we make up what's going on around the world. You know, but let's continue on. Cares about the environment. Committed to climate goals. Okay. Committed to social justice, gender equality, racial equality. Oh no, we need to we need to talk about that eight percent right there. Religious freedom, respect property rights, trustworthy, well distributed, political powers. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, dude, racial equality. We need to talk about that. Oh, that's racial equity. <laughs> I look too fast. My fault. My fault. I just seen a Family Guy uh, most racist moment. So equality was probably on my mind. But let's get Such back to this. Animal rights, human rights, the environment, commitments to climate change, gender and racial equality, and many more. For this reason, New Zealand. Maybe it was racial equality. It. It say equity, he said racial equality. Gender and racial equality, and many more. For this one reason, of us New wrong, Zealand one of us right. Progressive, healthy place to live. Now, of course, this doesn't mean it's perfect, but ranking third in the world means it is one of the best countries in the world for its social purpose performance. Number three, it's good, road trips. New Zealand is a country built for epic oh. road trips. I can personally vouch for this, as I no, did a road a trip no through the traffic? country in That's 2020. Perfect. Unfortunately, a global pandemic decided to pop up, 
which ended up oh, ruining man. most of my plans. <laughs> Low amount of traffic outside the major cities, alongside some of the most breathtaking views you will ever Beautiful. see, results in an absolutely stunning road trip adventure. Being an isolated country with low population means there is less light pollution too, so the night sky makes things even more epic. To drive from the North Island to the South Island, you must take a three hour ferry from the capital Wellington across to Picton. Wait, don't they have ferries you can like put your car in or something like that? Oh yeah, they're, they're telling me now. Which is a little pricey. Wow. I've seen that, like I would hear people talk about, I need to see an example of that. I'm gonna try to, if y'all if y'all got a video y'all can send me, I'll try to find one, but sometimes I don't pick the best videos, you know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all know more than me when it comes to these videos, that's why I trust y'all. But I did hear you can drive your your car into a ferry, which is very interesting. Them things but pretty admittedly, strong. it pretty is strong extremely fun. You can sip on a glass of wine as you float past the incredible fjords. Number two, fjords. it's chilled, laid-back vibe. It's isolation, low levels of like corruption and crime, low population and density, alongside a society that is friendly, open-minded and welcoming, means that New Zealand is an extremely safe, chilled place to live, work and study. If you're looking for a busy city or country with a booming economy and that hustle and bustle mm. vibe, then New Zealand probably oh isn't your gosh. best bet. You might be better off living in a big city in Australia. And finally, number one, the best country to survive a global collapse. New Zealand is often voted as being one of, if not the best country in the world to survive a global collapse in society. It's its That's rapid response thing. to the pandemic and ability to completely seal itself Definitely off from the rest of the world has reassured its citizens that and if number society nine, that's not bad, collapse, top 10. let's say an even deadlier pandemic or a nuclear holocaust, then New Zealand would be a safe place to be. Again, with its isolation and political stability, there are very few countries that pose a threat to New Zealand. If mm. a nuclear war was to break out, there is a very slim chance that New Zealand would be targeted. Its mountainous, That's rugged terrain alongside being an island would also pretty much make a land invasion impossible to win. Now, of course, New Zealand this isn't is nice. perfect. It does have many issues of its own. For one, the country is tucked away in the corner of the world. It's a country that does require Just some chilling. planning to visit, and flights aren't cheap there. Round trips from the US or Europe are almost always over $1,000 and the journey takes over 23 hours. Sure. And even when you arrive, the country itself is far from being budget friendly. It is one of the most expensive well, countries. This compared to the United Kingdom, um, I have been looking at flights and stuff. Yeah, this they about right on this. I know it's in just pounds right here, but he's speaking facts. He's speaking facts. Maybe I'll get a good deal one of these days. Thousand dollars. And the journey takes Dang. over 23 hours. And even when you arrive, the country itself is far hours. from being budget friendly. It is one of the most expensive countries in the world to travel and live it's in. A day so trip. what are your thoughts on New Zealand? Would you live there? Let us know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. It is completely free. And you can always unsubscribe at any time. Thanks again for watching and we will oh. see you very soon in the next video. That's interesting, New Zealand. That's very interesting that we have. No, this, I like this. I like this, though. Uh, definitely want to... I'm interested in these flights. Let me see. Yeah, I'm in Dallas. Flight to New Zealand from Dallas. Oh, my gosh. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up, wait a minute. Y'all got it. Do y'all see this behind me? I don't know when I'm going to make it to New Zealand. Yeah, I'm going to have to hold up cheap flights. Let's see, this said $400. Oh my gosh. That's Brazil. We want New Zealand. Maybe because it's close in the day. Okay, that yeah, 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 yeah. Pretty expensive out here, guys. Pretty expensive. Let me see if I can change the date first. Maybe it since it's so close. Let's say if I were to go from February twenty third, what is that? The Thursday. Let's say a week. 
I don't think it's trying to find that, but look at these prices even in Australia. Like two thousand dollars. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe I'm on the I, I could be on the wrong website. I could be on the That was not that those flights are not cheap. That they are capping on that one. Let me see. okay, okay, there we go, there we go. Here we go. This is something better. This is something better. Uh, let me make sure. Okay, none of my information is on here. So we, but yeah, DFW. These are some flights. These are a little better. Way better. Not bad. Not bad. But yeah, if y'all see me, just scrolling up in New Zealand. You know what I'm saying? Just know, um, YouTube. Your boy, your boy was doing good on YouTube or something, cause that's a lot of money. That's a very lot of money, but definitely enjoy watching this and seeing this. Like I said, uh, this should be my first time seeing New Zealand, so. But you know, I'm familiar with the, you know, the uh, the All Blacks, uh, AFL team or rugby team, All Blacks rugby. Yeah, it's rugby, the rugby team, All Blacks are pretty good. They're pretty good, so. But that's all I have, guys. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Send out those recommendations. And y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.